The story begins with our protagonist, who was going about his day when he hears the news that there was an earthquake in near the city. Suddenly, the ground around him starts shaking and something comes out of the ground. He protects the kid that was near him, and now we see a tower come out of the ground. These towers appeared in many cities and are called nightmare towers. Few selected people received a message saying, you have been selected to become a tower walker and save the world. Those who responded to the call and joined the fight in towers were armed for battle by the interface system. This gave them items and skills just like in a video game. But they soon realized that this wasn't a game. Monsters started to come out of the tower. This was called Tower Impact. Soon after this monster invasion, one third of the world's population was wiped out. Seeing all this destruction, all the tower walkers were now determined to save the world. And after many years, we see a party who found a magical stone called Regression Stone. This stone allows the user to turn back time and send the user back to when the tower first summoned them. The user's current memory also remains fully intact. The stone can be split and used as well. Everyone had their doubts, ink and wand. The leader of the tower walkers tries the stone first and disappears. A science teacher explains to them about timelines and multiverse and how his timeline is now different than ours. A second tower impact occurred in the outside world. The walkers had to decide, should they use regression stone to return to the past, or should they stay here and die? A group was fighting the monster but after falling in despair, they used regression stone to go back in time, except for one. He was also ready to die but a man saved his life, he was our protagonist's best friend. There was only one group left whose leader was our protagonist, and they were humanity's last defenders. In a battle against monsters, our protagonist's group was defeated, and everyone was heavily injured. And he was also losing consciousness, but his friend, Yoon Won screamed at him to snap out of it. He distracts the monster towards himself, and our protagonist attacks him from behind, and they finally defeat this monster. After defeating that monster, he gets a new weapon called Wum's Bun. This sword was made in order to defeat a dragon. Everything seemed according to plan, everything was going smoothly. But, when they make it to the 98th floor, a chamber of hellfire, everything started falling apart. His team was annihilated, his team members were dead, and he was also on the brink of dying. But as the monster was about to kill him, Yoon Won comes to his rescue, again. But this time that monster got him. The monster stabs him with its horn and then slams him against the wall. Jae Won was furious and attacks the monster. He sees a light that was pointing him to attack that monster's weaker part. He takes the shot and defeats that monster but this was the end for Yoon Won. He was going to use the regression stone and Jae Won tells him to go before he changes his mind. Yoon Won says, if anyone can save the world now it's you Jae Won and uses the stone and disappeared leaving Jae Hwan all alone in the whole tower. Jae Hwan remembers Yoon Won for the last time and moves to the next floor, alone. On the 99th floor, the boss monster was the guardian of the 99th floor, Frostworm Velchises, a dragon that came from the Forgotten Land. After a long fight with the dragon, he was hiding in a cave, resting. He thinks about how because of his comrade's gear that they had left behind, he was alive till now. He thinks about his girlfriend, who had left a powerful gear as well. He comes out of the cave to face the dragon again. The dragon compliments him saying no one has ever tried to beat the 99th floor by themselves. Jae Hwan makes him angry saying your armor is starting to crumble. The dragon gets furious at his arrogance and they start fighting again. Jae Hwan was heavily injured and was in no state to fight but he gets up again anyway. He was using only one technique, stabbing. In the past, he started climbing the tower later than the other walkers. So he missed out on a lot of stuff like hidden skills and hidden classes. And that's why he decided to forget about all other skills and just focused on one thing, stabbing. After stabbing enemies roughly 5 million times, he became a stabbing master among the walkers. With time, his stabbing technique was no longer just ordinary sword technique it was as powerful as hidden skill. And because it's not actually a skill, it doesn't cost him any mana, so he can use this for as long as he wants. But even after all that, he wasn't able to penetrate this dragon's skin. While he was in midair, the dragon attacks him and he couldn't have dodged that. But then he sees that light again, which was showing him the dragon's weak part. He remembers the light from earlier, and without thinking too much, he takes the shot and breaks the dragon's jaw. Now the dragon was pissed, the dragon flies and attacks him continuously. He tries to escape but he comes in front of him and says that if he was with his companions, he might have been able to defeat him but they were deceived by Nightmare Stone. He somehow escapes from his next attack but he keeps thinking about this Nightmare Stone. It's been 5 years since then, 
and Jawan was finally able to defeat the dragon, and now he had reached the maximum level in each of his traits. He asks the monster what is a nightmare's tone, to which he replies you will know everything on the last floor. As he had defeated the dragon, he gets a sword named the Sword of Frostworm Veal Hisses. This sword is infused with the breath of Frostworm. The blade reveals itself when the sword senses its master's desire to fight. A gate appears in front of him. This is the gate for floor 100, which was also the control room for this tower. He hears someone's voice. He asks him to relax and sends him a congratulatory massage. It says you are the first person from World 294 to complete the tutorial game. Your remarkable achievement will be stored forever in the immortal library of Akashic Record. This record will only be available to the masters of the Great Realm. He was shocked and furious to see the message and a demon comes out and asks him to calm down. He was surprised to see he managed to calm himself down before he even completed his sentence. The demon tells him that no one has ever been able to reach the 100th level all by themselves before. Jawan asks him about his identity. The demon was called B. Strin and he is the master of this nightmare tower. Jay Huan asks if this was a tutorial does that mean the real game hasn't even started yet. The demon agrees with him and shows him everything that happened to him after the nightmare tower showed up. How he met his friends, how he joined the parties, and how they died fighting beside him. The demon was offering him tempting offers. He said if you want you can go back and restart the whole game, but he refused to go back. Till now Jay Huan was thinking, if he climbs the tower to the last floor. This all would end and the world would be saved. But now he feels betrayed, because, from the start, there was no way to stop the tower impact. When Jewon refused to go back in time, then the demon reveals that there is no item in this tower that can send you back in time. When Jewon says there was a regression stone, the demon corrects him saying there is no such thing as regression stone. That stone is called nightmare stone. The people who used regression stone didn't go back in time, they are just trapped inside a dream created by a dream demon. Jowon remembers what that dragon had said earlier. The demon asks him if he was ready to start the main game, but Jowon declines it. Jowon was able to find out the info about the Nightmare Tower. This tower traps those who respond to the tower's call in a dream, created by a dream demon. That means he is already in a dream himself. He says he is going to kill the demon and move to the next floor. The demon tells him that there is no next floor. This is the end of the tower. The demon offers him whatever he wants, he will get. But Jay Huan attacks him saying he doesn't any of that. The demon now tells him the truth. All this time he was in a dream. There was no tower impact and no one is dead. Then he shows what happened to the walkers in the real world. They are in a coma and although in the tower it has been decades, in the real world it has only been a month or so. The demon said he should take the offer because he won't be able to defeat him anyway. He is much stronger than him and they start fighting. It has been 72 days since they've been fighting but Jawan still hasn't been able to even scratch it. He notices that even though that monster had so many chances to kill him, he didn't. So now he was determined to defeat him, no matter how many years it takes. The demon wasn't in a great mood himself. He can't kill Jaehwan, because he is a product, a very special product at that. The demon is a cultivator. Cultivators ripen and enhance products in two main stages, so that products can adjust to life in the Great Realm. In the first stage, cultivators pick out good products during the tutorial game. Once the product has been selected, the real ripening process begins in the main game. The demon has never seen a case like this where the player refuses to move on to the next stage. He can't kill him either because he is afraid of harvesters. Even the gods who refuse to make deal with demons are interested in Jawan. He was thinking all this when Jay Huan attacked him again. The demon was frustrated with him now. He gets furious and slammed him against the wall and asks him what does he want. The demon was getting desperate. But this was all Jawan's plan. He wanted the demon to feel desperate. And then he asks the demon to tell him the whole truth. Who are they? Where did they come from and all? The demon tells him that this universe has more than one dimension. This universe consists of one main dimension known as the Great Realm. With countless peripheral worlds branching out from it. The Earth is one of many smaller planets scattered throughout the numerous peripheral worlds. And this planet is called World 294. By obtaining skills or items and boosting their stats in the Nightmare Tower, walkers learn to adapt to the Great Realm system. And demons like Beastrin are there to assist walkers in the game. Our protagonist is on the 99th floor now. He had reached the max level for all his abilities, yet he can't defeat the demon. He was thinking all this when he feels something. We see some particles. They are shiny, in different shapes. These were the basic particles of this world. Earlier, 
J1 asks the demon about the masters. He says that they are the rulers of the Great Realm. Those who complete the main game and go on to the Great Realm usually receive a party recommendation from the masters. J1 agrees with the demon saying, in exactly 10 days he'll leave this place. After 10 days, the demon sends him some information about the Great Realm and asks him to accept the proposal, but J1 attacks him instead. He continuously attacks him, not giving him any chance to fight back. After seeing those particles, he feels more alive now, as something inside him has just awakened now. Beastrian uses his power to bind him in strong plants, black ironwood. The demon tries to trick Jae Hwan, but he already knows all about the demon. The demon was shocked. Jae Hwan frees himself from the plants and attacked the demon. And this time his attack was able to inflict much damage on the demon. He was stunned and wondered if he is an over-adapted player. Now the demon also doesn't hold back. He lifts his limitation and shows his true power. Now Jae Hwan was losing. The demon says that he is impressed by him. He already reached the second stage of adaptation after having just finished the tutorial. Jae Hwan wonders if this is really the end for him, but he now uses the sword that he got after killing the dragon and just starts stabbing. He has used his stabbing skill 10 billion times now, and he surpasses any human limitation and transcends any human being. He sees that light again, this is a link connecting that demon to the tower. His sword was now bigger and in a different shape, and now he'll land his final blow on the demon. Jawan defeats the demon. He has been awakened now. His status is now unknown. His levels are unknown and his skills are unknown. The demon warns him that there is no other floor to climb, but Jawan was not just stubborn. He knows that they are at the root of the tree of illusion. And if it is a root, then there must be a trunk. He breaks the ceiling. The system started showing errors and the tutorial game ends He Jawan gets transported to another world, where everything looked peaceful, calm and beautiful.